Bring something to cover the ground because I think wet. there's going to be some rain uh, Friday night into very early Saturday okay. morning and also bring something warm because it is going to get cold this weekend. You can see the rain though is going to be beneficial Thursday into Friday around even over an inch in spots. So we will take this rain for sure. We've got one more dry day before that rain gets in here Thursday into Friday and then it is going to turn quite a bit colder and stay unsettled into the weekend. This upper level low is shifting in our direction. And once it settles in, we are talking about temperatures running below average. So we go from the mid 50s today down to the mid 40s by Friday and only upper 40s on Saturday. So yes, definitely colder considering we've had so many days lately in the 60s. We've got 20s on the map right now in Bedford and Norwood. It's below freezing in New Bedford, still 40 degrees in Worcester and 42 out the door in Boston. You can see there are just a few patchy clouds working on in a few showers here spilling in from the west kind of drying up as they approach, but these are associated with our developing storm system and this main area of low pressure works toward us, but it's a new low that's going to be developing and that's what's going to bring us the heavier rain as we get into tomorrow. But today will be dry. Good amount of sunshine too. We'll be knocking on the door 50 degrees by 10 a.m. So spending a good portion of the day in the 50s with a good amount of sunshine. The winds today are lighter, so we don't have the red flag warnings and they're shifting around to more of the northeast, so that may drift some some of the smoke into areas that haven't smelled it lately from some of those wildfires. Clouds, though, they're going to be in the increase toward this evening and overnight those clouds thicken. In terms of rain, you can see by about 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, starting to spill in west of 495. So if that is where you are, you might see just a little bit of rain toward sunrise. Temperatures tonight 40 to 45. Tomorrow that rain fills in and it is going to be a rainy day. The rain heavy at times midday into the afternoon. Winds pick up out of the east and temperatures are either side of 50 degrees tomorrow. You can see how that rain fills in mid to late morning. So your midday soaking wet, the afternoon still wet, that evening commute still wet. And then as we get into Thursday night, the steadiest rain is going to start lifting to the north. Colder air is going to start spilling on in. So look at this out in the Berkshires. That snow about 1500 feet. There might be a little bit of wet snow coming in with this and then you can see what's happening here. Showers are spinning up on Friday into Friday night and there might be an additional shower around on Saturday is that upper level energy is going to be hanging around. It will not kick out until Sunday, so that's when I think we dry out completely. But in terms of significant snow, yeah, I think the higher elevations through the Adirondacks, the greens, the whites, the mountains of Western Maine, all going to be looking at the potential of some snow. So good news for ski country. We we are cooling it off talking about highs in the 40s on Friday and Saturday back to around 50 dry with a little bit of sunshine on Sunday and we'll stay in the 50s early next week. Of course, big travel week next yeah. week for Thanksgiving could be a few showers on Tuesday and looking for maybe a little bit of rain around Thanksgiving. Okay. Now we're watching the timing on that. Of course, it's still over a week away. Yeah, definitely. And you know what, Cindy, speaking of that fire danger, that's still Good Wednesday to you. We've got one more dry day before finally we're going to get some rain around here. It's looking like a soaking wet Thursday. Today's sunshine will give way to some increasing late day clouds. It's another day where we are running in the mid 50s above average for this time of year. Rain is going to move in mid to late morning tomorrow and then really become steady, heavy at times midday through the afternoon. It looks wet for the evening commute. Winds pick up out of the east tomorrow too, so it's kind of a windswept soaking rain tomorrow with temperatures near 50. 50. Showers are going to linger at times on Friday as we cool down, and there's still going to be a few showers around on Saturdays. The upper low hangs around. It's only in the 40s heading into the weekend. And a good Wednesday to you. It has been months around here since we've seen a good soaking rain. Couple of months since we've had a half an inch rain of inch in Boston, and you have to go back to the end of June to find the last time we picked up an inch of rain in a rainfall event around the Boston area. So this is long overdue, and you can see rain is coming Thursday into Friday. I am expecting a widespread inch or so of rainfall, and some spots may get closer to an inch and a half. So this is certainly going to be beneficial. It will help with the drought situation. We we have severe drought across 68% of the state right now, but it would take multiple events to catch us up from this deficit we've built since September the 1st. 
seven and a half inches behind in Boston. We are more than nine and a half inches behind in the Worcester area, so it would take seven to nine of these one inch rainfall events to erase this deficit. So this will help, but it's certainly only just going to put a little dent in the drought. What it's really going to help with are these fires that are burning right now. Multiple fires north of Boston. The largest is in the Boxford uh, State Forest. We also have that fire burning in the Blue Hills Reservation. And with the winds shifting direction today, I do anticipate some of the smoke from these fires is going to drift into different communities. The Boxford fire with that wind turning toward the north and east may send some smoke to you down toward Bill Ricca into the Bedford area and the fire around the Blue Hills Reservation could send some smoke down Route 1 toward Norwood and Walpole. So these communities that really haven't been dealing with it much the past couple of days may get into it a little bit today. And that shifting wind is coming in with our storm that's going to be approaching from the west. It's going to spill in some clouds here late in the day, but you can see a lot of sunshine into at least the early to mid afternoon with temperatures coming up into the 50s today. Now there is some colder air associated with this storm system. Look, it's producing some snow in the Dakotas and Minneapolis right now. And as this system pushes east, yes, we first get the rain and then we're going to get in on the cooler air. The upper level low is going to sit over the northeast and drive in colder than average temperatures Friday on into the start of the weekend. But first we'll get the rain. You can see how it spills in tomorrow morning right around or just before sunrise. I do anticipate a little bit of light rain west of 495. So if you're out that way, you'll get your rain towards sunrise. Temperatures overnight hold about 40 to 45 as the clouds thicken. Tomorrow is going to be a rainy day. Haven't said that in a while. The rain will be heavy at times midday into the afternoon. Temperatures stuck either side of 50 and look at the winds out of the east. 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained, but they are going to be gusting over 20 close to 30 miles per hour. So it is a wind swept soaking rain coming on in. You can see how that rain spreads in here, getting heavy late morning into midday and then during the afternoon the rain continues. There will be rain around for the evening commute and then tomorrow night the steadiest rain starts lifting north up into New Hampshire and that's going to start driving in colder air. So look, that's some snow showing up in the Berkshires tomorrow night. Elevations above about 1500 feet is where you will see some flakes and then as that upper level low kind of sits overhead, it's going to allow some showers to spin in. So on Friday, not raining the entire day, but there will be periods of showers and that may linger into Saturday as well with that upper level low nearby. Now in terms of snow, it may accumulate to several inches in the highest elevations here through the Adirondacks up north here into ski country, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine and the mountains picking up some snow. So good news for ski country getting in on some early season snow. We're getting in on the chill once the rain winds down. Notice temperatures stuck in the 40s through Saturday, drying out, brightening up and we're back in the low 50s by early next week.